Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotz and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included where two episodes we started with uh, this second hydrogen setup uh, that we hope to finish in this episode. Uh, it's not too much more that needs to be done. Uh, we need a bit more seal, we need a bit more plastic so we can have uh, the uh, the uh, steam turbine on top here and we also need one more term regulator down here uh, but we can place that in uh, once we have finished uh, pumping out the uh, gases here um, then it should all become a bit easier and now it's it's just finishing up these various tasks there's also a surprise in here um, we'll take the copper we do not have that much copper so that's that's good um, yeah We just do not come around to uh, do the steel up here, probably because they are too busy with the con construction on this side over here. So here we want to pump out if above to 750. Um, what's your deal? Ah, too much gas. Gas pressure. Let's pick up everything in here. And here also above 50. That will break uh, this this generator here quite a bit, but it only affects until we can get out all the uh, carbon dioxide from here and get hydrogen in there. Um, yeah, I think we can lock this top floor. How uh, much more? We are in the milligrams down here. So we are nearly there yet with the pumping out. And now we also have um, more water uh, top there we can deconstruct this bridge and we need to pump out a bit um, here because currently this loop is completely filled which means no progress is, is being made and no carbon dioxide being cleaned out okay so now the uh, the electrolyzers begin to work and soon we should see some real progress there
Then here we still have carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah, and we need to finish this setup before we can pump out uh, any amount of uh, gas from the lower chamber. And here on top, get mainly uh, oxygen now so maybe change this or to that and then we should see no more pumping going on and then we can first pump out here at the bottom which should help with the with the whole thing um need another bottle emptier here because we need a bit of uh, of uh, water on the floor to cool to cool the thing down or on a good way Oh, yeah, and over here on this side, I deconstructed these things. So let's put in letters instead. Um, interesting, the neural oscillator does not need to stand on anything. can just float in empty space. Okay. Here and there, there's still a bit of gas left in here. Um, And here we should be good. And put in these two tiles. Over here there's still a bit gas left. Do not need the lower two pieces of leather. Um, yeah, and we're good here. Very nice.
Um, okay. And I think we can get rid of this. And get in the last one. Is the power hooked up? No. We should be able to reach that. Um, disable this building because we only want um, want it to go on when everything is uh, completed. Another surprise I hear. What do we get? Bright mushrooms or sand. They have quite a bit of sand. We also have quite a bit of uh, of mushrooms. We'll take the mushrooms. All right, and then of course we need the the steel and the plastic. Maybe we can speed that up slightly. We need two to three hundred kilograms of water on each tile down here. I think two hundred will be sufficient. Over here we have a hard time getting the steam hot enough for the for the turbine to even uh, uh, start working. So we are at ninety eighty five, so not quite there yet. Okay, where is my plastic? Yeah, we have the plastic. Now we are only missing uh, steel. So maybe we can do it also here. Uh, let's 
disable auto repair for now. Okay, I see we are getting uh, more glossy draglets here on top side. Uh, the normal ones still outweigh the other ones, but eventually we will get there. Of course, it did not help that uh, all our draglets uh, died out uh, because we could not feed them with the with the mealwood because it was. Was it too warm or too cold? Something. And then we had the issue with the hydrogen uh, that filled this space and they were uh, stifled. So one problem after another. So let's have a look here. Last time we managed to get our hands on some pufflet eggs, so they should hatch eventually. And we can see our pufflet farm in action. Okay. 150. We still need a bit more. But we, now we have the steel, so let's put in the steam turbine. Of course, the, the thingy there, the pump, is in the way. Um, okay, and we can close up here again. I think one more water load and we should be okay. Yep. Does it? Can suck that. And put this tile in here. And then we can place this piece of machinery, connect it up, uh, put the priority on five, six, and then all we need to do is close up here.
Oh, no, 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 no. Why do they always want to build um, these heavy machinery out of the wrong material? It's steel we need here. Everything else is just pure bullshit. Okay. But we still want to get that built. Okay, plastic is also coming, everything here, so now we only need a skill. Ooh. There is a problem here. Need to enable this building. Probably need a ladder there. Um, or on second thought, do this a bit more intelligent. Here. Um, Maybe have a bit of nation uh, going on and disable these pumps for now. I don't want to uh, uh, produce enough heat so we get steam in here while we still have not yet completed this build. So let's see what we get. Yeah, we will take the shine nymphs or the shine nymph X. Eventually we will get shine nymphs out of that. Okay, now they are all disabled. Um, yeah, I know this one is also made out of lead, but uh, basically uh, once it's broken, it's broken. Uh, and we should never need to go in here anymore. So... Can we please get this done? Okay. Right. Then let's build that back up. Now we will repair. Nice. Okay. 
And then put in the last two pieces and we are good to go. I have any plastic to spend no 50 kilograms I would need 200 for a few more traps for the various morbs that are jumping around in the area of our base so we can put more in down here which would produce more uh, polluted oxygen which should help the uh, pufflet farm and the pufflet farm will produce uh, slime uh, and uh, bleach stone eventually and with a sustainable amount of bleach stone we can then do a lattice farm Okay, everything is set up, so let's do this. Um, we can enable those again. And the scales is actually quite cool, even though um, carbon dioxide. Ah, carbon dioxide um, is not really easy to cool down if you have a setup like this. But if you put it through a setup like this, uh, each cooling. Uh, each regulator cools it down by 14 degrees independent of the gas so what comes out here on this end that's really cold but first we still pump in a bit of uh, carbon dioxide um, we're going in with 50 degrees we're coming out with minus 10 yep yeah, but now we are in the uh, oxygen area um, here we will switch back to 750 um, we will enable this building as well so we can get oxygen down there that should help then we don't need this pipe anymore it this pipe anymore or this this that actually can do just oh no 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 Um, we can deconstruct all of that. We can deconstruct this. We can deconstruct that. We can deconstruct this. We will leave this pipe here. 
Um, and we can get rid of this. Um, which means we do not need ah um, we need this we still need right but that's it okay Yep, can deconstruct that, then the pressure plate, and we can connect this up. And get some hydrogen going in here, which should help with the, with the cooling. Yep, that's working, that's progress, even if it was long progress. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, longer episode once again. And join me next time when I will focus on something different. Until then, goodbye.